Hey Scrappers, welcome to another video. Today we shall be processing these um, microwave emitters out of microwave magnetrons. Now, as you can see here, just a bit of a disclaimer, you have pink beryllium, and then on this one here you have white beryllium. Uh, just be careful with these, because if you shatter them and breathe in the dust, you can um, develop beryllosis, which is a form of um, lung damage because of the beryllium present here and in the long run it can lead to a form of cancer, lung cancer. So today I'll be taking apart, I have 21 of these that I need to um, saw the ends off of to expose the copper here in the middle and um, yeah we'll do a way up at the end to see how much we've got and if it was worth it. So let's make a start. On this one there'll be a thin band of steel that runs around the inside as well. But when I come across it I'll show you. Right. So there you go, there's the inside of the emitter, the part there of it, and all this here is all steel, even though it might look copper coated, and all that steel too, as you can see. So what I'll do is I'll flip it over, and I will proceed to remove this other side as well. So all that there guys is all steel, and there's the other side of the, and the rest is all nice and clean copper. So put that aside, and I'll carry on with the rest of them off screen, and come back to you once we've um, cut all the ends off. Hey Scrappers, welcome back. So as you can see, here's the end result. It's all been cut up. So what we'll do now is we'll quickly do a weigh up and see how much we've netted these ends. What I'll do with these ends is I'll get a bit of duct tape and I'll tape up the ends here so that um, if they do come apart they won't pose much of a hazard um, in case they're crushed. So let's just turn the scale on. So out of 21 Resonating chambers, we've managed to net 1.2 kgs. Um, it only took me about an hour and a half. Unfortunately, I think I smoked my little um, saw. I did see a couple of um, clouds of smoke appear out of it, unfortunately. 
and I also managed to um, wear out the blade. As you can see, the teeth around here. See how they're all nice and uniform along the blade up until about here. And that's pretty much where the majority of the cutting on these get done. So unfortunately, this blade's only good for this part now. Um, does, it, does it even run anymore? Nah, see? So I think I smoked my little, my little saw. Hopefully it's just the old thermal device in the windings that have, has kicked in to say that it's, they're too hot and it won't allow me to do it anymore. Um, but other than that, if it's smoked, I'll have to go get another one. So that was a bit of fun for you all, guys. Look after yourselves. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers!